Hello guys, welcome to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. We are a team of extremely passionate teachers, researchers, and statisticians from the top universities of India and USA. Our mission is to help you curve your career in statistics, data science, and machine learning. How do we do that? Number one, we help you build your foundations. We achieve that by making an optimized plan for your learning journey. Number two, we help you prepare and ace your entrance examinations in statistics and data science, like IIT Jam MS, ISIM STAT, and CMI MS Data Science. Number three, we give our absolute best to help you design your career by organizing workshops and certified data science courses. To book a trial class for your preparation courses of IIT Jam MS, ISIM STAT, and CMI MS Data Science, check out the first link in the description below. If you're enjoying the video, show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We welcome you again to this passionate community of budding statisticians and data scientists. Let's enjoy the rest of the video. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Decimal numbers. And decimal numbers and real numbers. And finding an uncountable set. Okay, so that's the next part of the lecture, third last part. So coming to decimal numbers, so understand we'll be discussing this next day also, what is the whole idea of numbers? What is the whole idea? How did numbers come? I was telling you that, you know, human beings have 10 fingers, okay? So from that, the decimal idea came, the decimal number system came, that they're using 10, uh, into, into, you know, 10 symbols, 10, 0 to nine sim 10 symbols to understand number one two three four like this okay so therefore it's by, everything is based on decimal system 10 symbols 10 integers are used to find and represent any number possible they have found out in the history they used it while farming they used it while you know taking buying food for their children whatever whatever they could use in the in the old days in the before christ period so now how is a real number defined, like using decimal numbers? How is a real number defined using decimal numbers? Very simple. So I should say uniquely defined. Can someone tell me what is 0 0.9999999? What is this number? Can someone, if you say 0 0.a1, a1 is a digit, a2, a3, continues, right? What is the meaning of this? Yeah, so how do you write it mathematically? Let's say a1 is like, a1 is an integer between 0 and 1, 0 and 9. a2 is integer. So how do you write this represented mathematically? What does it mean? What, what does 0 0.1 mean? It means, okay, 1 by 10, great. What is 0 0.01 means? 1 by 10 square, right? So what is this? You can see this is nothing but 0 plus a1 times 1 by 10 plus a2 times 1 by 10 square plus a3 times 1 by 10 cube. So therefore, you can write a summation of ai by 10 to the power i, i from 1 to infinity. All of you agree with this, guys? This is very important. This is what you have done in your class 7 8. Probably you have forgotten. But this is what is very important to understand. Did you understand this? Very good. So, therefore, you will see now that. So, therefore, what is 0 0.999? Can someone calculate? This is called as what sum? What sum? This is called geometric sum. 1 by 1 by 10 times 1 by it's a starting number so it's a a, a plus a is r a r plus a to the power r square a r square plus r this is nothing but a by 1 minus r right you can do this geometric sum so your starting number is 1 by 10 that is a and its ratio is 1 by 10 also so it's 1 by 1 minus this is the r part this is the a part this is the constant 9 so you get 
nine nine gets cancelled, ten ten gets cancelled, so you get one. Therefore, this is nothing but one point zero 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 zero. This is interesting, right? All of you got this, guys? Did you understand this? Great. What about others? Great, Samruthi. So now, so you can see that every, so for example, also, you can prove it. Like zero point two seven three five eight six nine 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 nine. This continues. Can you tell me what this will number be? Can someone tell me? Two seven five seven. This six nine nine continues to be five seven. Very good. So that's changing. So essentially, every number has. So therefore, this there is no unique representation as of now. So if we take In decimal system. So the next natural question that comes to the mind is that how to make it unique? So, have to so the basic idea is to, to add some restrictions, some basic simple, simple restrictions. How to do that? Simple. So what we will do is that we will just don't allow zero 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 afterwards. That's it, right? Will not allow zero zero out afterwards. So what we will do is that we just add that it's an infinite sequence. Which doesn't have zeros eventually. That's it. Which doesn't have zeros eventually. Simple. So 0 0.717234, this is not the decimal representation. We decimal represent it as, for uniqueness, 0 0.723999999. This is the decimal representation. And it's unique. So we, so we take one of the definitions like this, OK? So therefore, understand, so we can prove that any 0 to 1, any number between 0 to 1, right, can be represented as a bijection or as a connection, like 1 to 1 bijective connection with the decimal representation. That's what I should say. Non terminating, that is not terminating to zeros. Decimal expansion. For example, 0 0.314 like sequence. Now, this non-terminating decimal expansions for the bijection as a bijection with infinite sequence of of integers now which type of integers belonging to 0 to 1 dot dot 9 for example you can see that 3 1 4 5 1 5 1 9 9 9 9 9 this is a you know connection with 3 comma 1 comma 1 5 comma 9 comma 9 comma 9 this continues the infinite sequence of integers between 0 and 9 this is very important it's a bijection did you understand this, guys? Yes or no?